So a little while back when I was starting to do this project, I knew I was gonna need something to display the values so that I can read them. So I did some research and I found out that probably the best thing for this project is this little OLED. Let's go. What I've done is I've already set up uh, a breadboard that's going to have all the components that we need. Uh, it has the, the HX711 over here. Um, it has the Arduino right here. And the OLED is also on the breadboard. What I've also done is I've uh, went ahead and I've started to sketch and I took the things out of the sketches I used before to try out these components. So that's gonna be our, basically our main sketch that we're gonna use in the next few days, few weeks uh, on this project. Let me just explain to you a couple of the reasons why I decided to go with this OLED. Um, there's two basic reasons why I decided to go with it. One is if I was to go with an LCD display, then it would mean I would need to use a little bit more of my ports on the Arduino. And I wanted to actually have more flexibility for the future. So I tried to find something where I didn't have to use as many pins. That's what this lovely little device actually accomplishes. It has four pins on it. Two of them are for ground and for five volts VCC. And the other two are for the clock and for data. The interesting thing about this particular OLED is that it is I squared C compatible. The I squared C is short for inter integrated circuit, which means it uses two dedicated pins on the Arduino and on the Arduino Uno, it uses the A4 for data and A5 for the clock. But for other types of Arduinos and other microcontrollers, you'll have to check the data sheets to find out which pins are using the I squared C. The idea behind this is if you have several devices that are using this protocol, they can differentiate themselves from other devices by using a bus address. And then that way the microcontroller software can know which information is being sent to it based on the bus address of the device that is trying to transport the information. So that was one reason why I decided to go with this OLED. The other reason is because it was pretty affordable, um, pretty cost effective. I found some on Amazon for $12.99. The only disadvantage of this particular OLED, and it's my fault, is I didn't really read in the description. In the small print, it was actually written that the display color is blue. So it's not really a big deal, but um, yeah. I've placed a link to the OLED displays in the description below, as well as a link to the load cells. So you can go over to Amazon, you can check those out. And you know, while you're there clicking around, you might as well hit the like button, you might as well hit subscribe and the notification bell that way you won't miss out on any of the other upcoming videos. All right, so enough of that. Now let's get into this. So as I said already, I have the sketch set up. One thing that I wanted to show you was that I have this nice little intro to the OLED. So when the OLED starts up, it will show me a little nice little text here. The next thing is how I basically will be displaying the weight. I'll be displaying it in kilograms. For me, I don't, need it to, I don't need to take the values directly from the load cell in grams. In grams is a little bit too fine of a, of a precision. I only really need to know how much we have weighs in kilograms. So I'm just dividing them by a thousand and that gives me my weight in kilograms. Another thing, um, just for the sake of debugging, I left in some of these um, serial outputs just so that I can actually have a, a little bit of a, a comparison between what I'm seeing in the serial monitor and also what I'm seeing uh, on the OLED. Okay, let's go ahead and load this up to the Arduino and we'll see what happens on the OLED. Okay, so now I've went ahead and um, plugged in the Arduino to the USB on the laptop and now I'm just gonna go ahead and hit upload. Okay, now it's uploaded and we should be seeing an initialization soon. I'll just open the serial monitor. Here I can see on the serial monitor, the values that are being calculated right now by the out, by the load cell. So it's showing me 464 grams. So that divided by a thousand should be on the OLED display somewhere around 0 0.46. So that looks pretty good. Now I'll apply a bigger weight to the scale. I'll take a 10, 10 kilogram dumbbell or something 
and put it on there and then we should also see that displayed on the OLED. All right, so go ahead, let's see here. Let me grab a 10 kilogram dumbbell and I'll place this gently on the scale. And we can see that the values are being updated on the OLED. Looks pretty good, looks pretty good. Looks like that's what I expect. So here in the serial monitor says uh, 10,647. Um, that's probably gonna be rounded up to 10.65. And that's what we actually see on the OLED. So it's pretty good, it's what I needed to do. Um, doesn't need to be much more fancier than that. All right, that's it. See you next time.